Ephalot is being kited around by Nami. Because Nick has gone for the Karthus lock-in, that's a fairly teamfight-oriented comp. Renekton and Elise Karthus, they want to get in your face. While Karthus will scale very well, they may give up first blood because Selfie is being ganked on in this middle lane. Yeah, Diamond and Eddie coming around towards him. He goes into the play. Selfie trying to be confident, but the cocoon and the death sentence pulls him straight back out of there. He will go down. The tower hit. Oh, oh! he got him! He got a return kill. So well played on Diamond. The tower hit working wonders. Yeah, so I think there was kind of a, a slight misplay from Selfie. He could have made is available for Genjo, but he'll and exhaust on the side of Mr. Oz and Kasing, and they're going in on Edward. Play again, Eddie on Kasing this time. They're going to try and focus in. They turn on to Diamond. Diamond tries to get away. A lot of damage back and forth, but Diamond's the one that's going low. Mr. Rales comes in, picks that one up. Genja tries to turn it around, but cannot react. And it is super hot crew coming out. On He's gone with a tier of the Goddess as his first item. And considering all oh, Mr. Rales is hooked. Mr. Rales hooked in there. Can Genja get the kill down? And if Valkyrie gets away, he's going to dash in. Flashes for it instead. Can he get Kasing now? One more hit. You can see Eddie. Oh, caught out nicely with the Aqua Prism. That one. Dominus is available for Darien. We'll see whether he tries, chooses to engage. And Red Grim's up. Big minion wave in there. Doesn't get caught out by Counter Strike this time around. And straight away, and Paler goes in. They're going to turn straight on towards him. Diamond actually caught out Darien. Tries to slide out of there. There's the Requiem from Nick. That finishes the job. That's exactly what they wanted on that mid lane. Very well exit and the makings of Phage. And here comes Impaler. He's looking for a gank with the Cataclysm. Oh, great hook on towards Kasing there, but he draws him straight in. Eddie's not getting out of this one. The shield goes down. He's still surviving. Mr. Rollins will finish that one off. Impaler's actually getting focused on by Not sure about that targeting there. But the Super Hot Crew get themselves another hit. Now Nick's going to get dived on. The ulti comes out from Selfie with zero damage really done there. Exhaust from Nick was so well timed. The moment Selfie committed to his last breath, that was it. And the duos against Super Crew, and they're going to dive into Selfie again. Well, Selfie hasn't got his ultimate available this time around. He comes in, <laughs> gets flayed out there, gets hooked straight in as well. Great death sentence from Eddie. This time around, it's Diamond that gets the kill. Good positioning by Gambit, but I have to question <laughs> the sweeping blade through Diamond Prox. I'm not quite sure why Selfie was going into the middle of the lane. Regardless, he gets caught down. Another kill for Gambit and Tupaku trying to defend this tower. They've jumped into Impala. They've given the tower. Can they get on towards him? Capitalism used. He tries to flash out of there. Nick putting the damage down. Will he get away from it? No, he will not. Diamond sinks in the face. Yeah, manages to get the kill. Not only does he get the kill, that's a flash from Impala burned as well. Mima, he's going to jump in, but may not be able to save the tower. The rest of Gambit have got it down. Tower goes down. Death sentence thrown out again. And Edward is all over this game right now. Gambit get themselves another and another turret. It is all about the th revenge hits from Mr. Rales there. Still very close between oh, the two. Eddie's going deep on this one. Oh, misses the death sentence this time around. It's a good wave. There's going to be the Requiem. That's one going down at the side there. Now Impaler's taking low. Teleport comes in. Impaler does get himself the kill on Genja, but Eddie comes in and cleans that one up. Mima teleports in. Darian is in there as well. It's Kasing they should be focusing on. Instead, they're trying to keep Mima away from him. Darian may be able to go two on one here. He's got Diamond about to join him, and their super hot crew are backing out. They end up trading two for back to in that middle lane, and it's pushing because of the fact that he's managed to get that one down. And see how much damage you can put on to Mime. It's a two-level advantage. Keep that in mind. And exhaust available. Oh, they're going to catch him out. Mime is not going to be able to get away from this one. Counter-Strike dodged out. That was a simple, simple cleanup by Gambit. And the tower was saved. Mid-tower now being pressured. Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. Has got that Rod of Ages uh, fully... No, on its way, it's about 70% stack, and Seraph's Embrace has been upgraded. Now we'll see if Darren can get away. There's two of them on it. Oh, Selfie gonna lose everything he's got. I'm not sure if they can get away from this one. Darren has got that Dominus running again. He gets knocked off. Selfie will catch him just under the turret, but it took two of them to take him down for a long period of time there. There's a lot of armor on Darian. He also got hunk down behind Darian, but he's doing well. And Cataclysm's up for Impaler if they want to go in. Good cocoon catching on Impaler there. The turret not doing what it needs to. And Diamond now in trouble. He's going to try and come around on towards him. Aqua Prism does not land. Diamond tries to get away. Flashes out of the Cataclysm, and now he's choked free. Can he get on towards Impaler? They're going to try and turn this one around. Eddie's going to join them alongside Nick. Cocoon goes thrown out. Catches oh. on Impaler. Death sentence flung out, and Eddie lands it once again. You can see the Aqua Prism come through there. Gambit's going to try and follow through. Kassling going to get caught out. Flashes out of the Cocoon. He's still running for his life. He's slowed down right now. Don't think Diamond can catch anymore. No, not from Kassling.
Itemization update. Oh, they've caught Mr. Ross. Oh, Diamond's gonna oh, push off. There's Wars, this one. I don't think it is. Mr. Ross is in trouble, and Diamond's taking him down. Another death sentence comes in. Kasin catches that one. Darian teleports in there. There's the Requiem coming out. That's gonna blow Kasin up. Mr. Rollers was taken out of that one. He has to back away. Now Mima getting focused on. He gets taken so low. Jumps away. Leap strike enough. Selfie catching on towards Diamond. Gets one. Gets on towards Eddie. But straight away, another death sentence comes out. Genji gets focused on. But he's gonna turn that back around. In pain taken so low. Everybody so Oh no, Nick finally joining this party. The calling coming out from Genja. Can they change? Take the white instead. Selfie is still out of position. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, actually, it's going to be Mr. Rollins that's going to get focused on. Requiem comes out. Will it get blasted? Mr. Rollins not quite taken low enough. Still nobody going down. Selfie back in the top lane. Darian pushing towards him. Darian's going to keep on focus. I'm not sure if he's had enough hits on him. I think the tower's going to get it. Oh! Nick managed to get the last hit in the end and Gambit to get themselves another kill. 6-0-5, the rest of Super Crew Pro This is going to go very quickly, of course, with the Carthus in there, one of the quickest to help take down that Baron. Uh, sorry, the Dragon is going to go down. Miami gets on towards that one. Now Selfie going to get focused on. The Baron picked up by Gambit, and they back away. Not sure about that trade. He's going to be very, very quick to melt through those high hit point targets. They're going to try and come across and engage on towards this blue buff instead. They want to turn it around. Cocoon lands on Mima. Aqua Prison on Darian, though. He pops that Dominus instantly. They try and focus on towards Mima. There's going to be the wave coming out. Kasing's going to get try and focus on Selfie. Jumps in there and jumps straight out again. Nick all over him. He doesn't want to get involved anymore. He's going to get taken down. Selfie tries to go in towards him. He gets himself the kill and the shutdown bonus, but he gets cleared out. My Baylor jumps in. Cataclysm and flashes out. Requiem comes out. Mima not going to take him so low. But the he bubble. gets away. The bubble and the heal from Kasing just about survives and Gambit very, very scary with their item builds and Gambit are looking to find picks and they've got Impaler oh good death sentence coming out from Eddie once again the wave will get thrown through but Impaler's taken so so low but he gets away alive Cocoon lands on towards Mima the rest of the team claps in towards him he leaps strike away Super Hawk they have to back away from this fight it's a good win war from Selfie and bounces the rest of Gambit but they're going to keep on chasing this one Super Hawk crew and back up duty and gain Another fantastic acquisition. Look at the positioning. Super Hard Crew have got minions now working with them uh, shortly, and they may be able to get this inhibitor turret. Well, that's going to be Super Selfie. They catch out on the side there. He's got Guardian Angel, but he's going to get taken hit by the tower. He'll go down off the side there. Quick repel from Diamond. Genja's out of position. He's going to get focused on. He's got the Guardian Angel. The rest of his team need to get around. Selfie goes down. Genja is safe for now, and Gambit get themselves a one on zero, and that's gonna be the lot. Yeah, very, very split. Go in, Tidal Wave is not available for Kasing. Look at them, they're split once more. Mima wants it, they got Genja. Oh, they've caught him out, he's gonna try and get away, but he's one more hit, he's gonna get taken him down, but Mima, the GA gonna get popped, and the Super Hawk crew in a good position. Impaler's gonna get taken down, the Baron doing damage on him. Mima tries to leap away from this one. Diamond chasing on towards Kasing, a fantastic Aqua Prison from him once again, with the Cocoon this time around will seal his fate, and Eddie, he's trying to pursue on Mr. Rallis. Where is Mima going? He's gonna back off. So they end up trading one for two, but very on that ultimate usage. And the super hot crew is starting to catch Gambit out of position. Diamond, he's got nowhere to run here. He's gonna get caught out. He repels. Caught the out. Listen, and Eddie's there with a the lantern again. And now Impaler gets hooked in. And that is a death for Nick. And now Mima leaps away. It's a 4v5. Gambit chasing. Overconfidence from Impaler not going. Yeah, no knockups from super hot crew means there's no Yasuo engaged. Mima, he wants Darian. Oh, he jumps in there. Counter Strike not quite landing. And Darian had taken all the damage. Red buff hooked in. Eddie, I thought he caught somebody else out. But he Instead it was the red and that may be a problem because if Paylor slides in, Cataclysm on everyone, Yasuo doing all of the damage and Gambit are just being dropped left, right and centre as Selfie goes in. The Guardian Angel pop, Mima gets himself a kill. Back in there, the Guardian Angels all come back up, Genji gets jumps on, Mima takes him down, his GA goes down. Diamond is the only man standing just off of the side, Eddie's making a run for it. Then Kessing, you've got to be careful, this is a tricky, tricky spider you're chasing, he may turn back on towards you. This is exactly what he's going to do, but it doesn't matter because Mima's there alongside Mr. Rallis. Two for four, and all of that thanks to a very, very good ultimate. To see Corky's go sorcerer shoes not all that long ago, but they need to obviously get through all of that armor. Impaler's gone super deep. Oh, and Selfie used his ultimate last breath on towards Darian. I'm not sure that's the right target. Nick comes in, gets himself involved. Selfie's gonna get taken down already. Impaler's lower just off the side. Impaler goes down. It's a double now. Genja getting focused on by Mima. Mima's just gonna jump away from this one. Oh, and Genja takes him down. What the hell is Super Hot Crew doing? I have no idea. They just die on the tankiest member of Gambit and almost threw this game away.
away. I think they may have thrown the game. There is still a minute on all of their death timers. Gambit are moving to this middle lane. Darien has got a massive amount of HP to work with and a handful of minions. Mr. Rolls has to pull off a godlike defense if he's going to defend this. How brave are Gambit? That's a flash hook. It doesn't connect. I wonder if they're going to go for Nexus Totes. If I were Gambit, that's what I would do. Absolutely. They're just going to pile on through here. That's going to be the inhibitor going down. And Mr. Rolls, as you mentioned, has got 30 seconds to hold on here. Minions coming in. They've got the tank minion with them as well. And Gambit, five-man defense will just push on towards this on the peel off. They go for Mr. Rolls. They hook him down. Mr. Rolls goes down. They've done it's it. going to be a kill. The Nexus turrets are going to fall down. And Gambit, just like that, as I was saying, Super Hot Crew were in the driving seat. Gambit have to be careful. They close out the game and win inside 50 minutes. Gambit take down the Super Hot Crew. The Super Hot Crew gave Gambit that victory. I have no idea why they would engage them, why they would chase so far with Super Minions. Absolute chaotic scenes and decisions like that. You've got to wonder, it's the pressure of the play. And of course, we are in the summer right now. This is the battle. This is the road to the World Championships. Gambit fighting tooth and nail to get themselves into the playoffs. And with performances like that, they may just be able to do it. I, I, I have to question it. I mean, Gambit, they had a very good early game. They had a pretty solid mid game. Once again, their composition didn't allow them to get through those inhibitor turrets, but they held out. They were scrappy. And you could feel the pressure every single time those team fights were happening. They were sloppy. And they were chaotic. And it was just, it's crazy the fact that Super Hot Crew basically won the last four, five team fights. Yep.